We are publishing the 2013 World Social Science Report. What lessons or what prescriptions does the report give to UNESCO in its work? What the World Social Science Report does is set an agenda. An agenda for global science communities and of course an action agenda for UNESCO, for the international community, for governments. The agenda it sets in very general terms is quite simple. Global environmental change, issues such as climate change, biodiversity loss, pressure on freshwater resources, tends to be seen as primarily a scientific and technical issue. It isn't. It's a social and human issue. And so at the UNESCO level, what we need to do is work along those two tracks, contribute through our science programs to strengthening the scientific knowledge base from the social sciences in connection with the humanities and the natural sciences to help us understand what's going on in what's now fashionably called the Anthropocene, the geological era where human action is shaping the planet. And in addition to understanding, we need to equip ourselves with the capacity to act. And every form of action that would be relevant in response to global environmental change will involve social change, change in attitudes, change in behavior, change in institutions. And to shape those changes, we need to understand not just how ecosystems work, not just how the atmosphere works, but how human societies work. Of course, there is a big picture, the picture of the planet as a whole. But there are also lots of small local pictures and the level at which, at which, at which action needs to be taken is very often that local, national or regional level. Are there any signs that the international community is actually prepared to listen to the recommendations of the report? The basic idea that this is a social challenge to be mastered, controlled, acted upon through social means is I think gaining acceptance and in that sense the World Social Science Report is timely because the social sciences have not sufficiently I think at this stage played the role that they need to play in providing the knowledge that the international community and national policymakers need in order to respond to these challenges. To say it's a social challenge is one thing but to provide the detailed social science knowledge necessary to support action is another thing. The World Social Science Report frames the challenge. It also underlines some of the existing gaps and deficiencies. And those need to be correct, uh, corrected through UNESCO science programs and through the broader process of international scientific cooperation and science policies at national and regional level. Isn't much of the problem due to the fact that those most responsible for climate change are not the same as those who suffer most from its effects? Yes, at least so far. And that does create a political problem, which is not entirely unfamiliar from other areas of, uh, of social policy, in which you can have the impression that you can have your cake and eat it, get the benefits without suffering uh, the costs. But I think there's a lot of emerging evidence that even in temperate uh, countries, countries that have uh, wealth to support ambitious adaptation measures, Climate change will be a challenge, a challenge for agricultural productivity, a challenge for ecosystem sustainability. And the challenge is, of course, to reduce the likelihood of the shock when we can, and with respect to some environmental challenges, we can, but also to enhance the resilience of societies themselves in the face of shocks that might be unpredictable or uh, impossible to prevent.